In this video you are going to know about blood agar that what is it what is the use of blood agar and how to cultivate bacteria on blood agar so all the points you are going to know in this video hello friends welcome back to my channel biology with agam singh so firstly know about blood agar that what is it blood agar as it as the name suggest blood it requires blood a uh, mammalian blood sample to be completely a media for the growth of bacteria means that uh, blood agar is under the category of an enriched media as you know enriched media are the complex media containing the blood or the living cells with them so this is the media which requires the blood to be completed on for the growth of the bacteria so this is the blood agar which is used for the cultivation of pathogens means that uh, the human pathogens if you if you are taking the blood sample of the human then you have you can grow the human pathogens such as uh, salmonella typhi and many more tuberculosis so many types of bacteria that it is not such more specific but it is a specific support the pathogen bacteria that cause the diseases in humans or other mammals which you are taking the sample so this is used for the uh, growth of pathogens so this is very important for the making the blood agar that you should have the proper laboratory conditions because you are you have to use the sterile blood here not contaminated blood because if the contamination is the blood blood contain the contamination then that agar then the blood agar will become contaminated and the growth unnecessary growth of the blood which is present in the blood will grow on the agar and you will not able to differentiate between your culture what you have grown uh, for as a pathogen and what is inside the blood so it is very necessary that you have proper laboratory conditions now this blood agar that enrich media you how you prepare it okay so firstly you you just have to make this manual to read out firstly whatever is written in the box you just have to read it out properly as it is written here that you just require 40 grams in 1000 ml of distilled water means that you have to take if you are making 100 ml of blood agar then you just have to take 4 grams in 100 ml of distilled water and after that firstly make it complete and then i will talk about it firstly you just have to weigh out as i had weighed uh, the blood agar in a butter paper always use the butter paper as it is very good for the weighing of the culture medias so i had weighed it now you just requires a conical flask uh, to enter this media inside it you just the conical flask should to be properly cleaned uh, and oh, and you just have to um, put all this mixture all this blood agar inside it as you can see this is the blood agar inside it now you just have to add 100 ml of distilled water in it now you have to add 100 ml of distilled water in this blood agar and mix it properly after adding the 100 ml of water you just have to stir it just like so that it the agar mix it with the water properly and makes a homogeneous mixture okay and um, as you see that in the bottom no agar is there as it is properly mixed out now you just have to cotton plug it cotton plug should to be so tight so that the glassware should not fall in off and after that you just have to wrap it with a help of foil for the auto cleaving process now the process of sterilization is done uh, we have to use this glove and uh, take out the blood agar from the auto cleave it is totally homogeneous mixture as you can see it is almost transparent so now it is ready to make plates but before it Uh, we have to cool it for up to 45 to 50 degree celsius and then take it to laminar air flow now this blood agar the raw blood agar as we can say is uh, cooled up to 45 to 50 degree celsius you can feel it by touching it and uh, we have this blood sample the mammalian blood sample and this sterilized petri plate okay 
now what we have to do we just have to set the micro pipette in hundred uh, in thousand sorry uh, in thousand so that one ml can be taken from this we just have to pour five ml of blood in this blood agar so that it become proper and uh, fully ingredient blood agar this is the proper composed blood agar now you just have to pour it out in a petri plate a sterilized petri plate that's all about blood agar so i hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and if you have any query then you can ask in the comment box down below and if you have any friend that wants this knowledge then share this video with them and if you haven't subscribed this channel then subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos such like that thank you so much for watching see you soon